I feel trapped in this life that it's like not even real. When you know deep down that you have a tremendous potential, but you've never seen it, you will never been able to uncover it. You know it's fair, but maybe it's an illusion. When you feel trapped and you're trying to find love, to be happy, to have a great career, but you keep trying and you don't get anywhere. You live like a ghost. It's like a ghost. It was the, it's like not you. It like was like, it was not me. It was just like something that it looked like me. It moved like me, but it was just not me. And you feel trapped. And this is one of the reasons why a lot of people lose the, 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 the wish of living because they're trapped in all directions. They don't know what move to make not to be trapped again by something else and by something else. And this happens a lot of people who are suffering from generational pain, like I did, and makes you ask questions of what's wrong with you. I asked myself a lot of times, okay, what is wrong with me? And the answer was nothing. The only thing I didn't know is how to get untrapped. So let's, let's talk a little bit about how to get untrapped. Because being trapped for a very long time, it gets you to a very low confidence, to the belief that you can ever get on relying on others to untrap you when actually they're going to trap you more. You are going to end up sacrificing for love and you end up in codependent relationships. Sacrificing for work and you end up a workaholic. And if you lose your job, you don't know your identity anymore. Sacrificing for children who don't speak to you. When they get an adult, they don't even know you exist. So these kind of traps actually uh, can get you into way more issues later on in life. So let's talk a little bit about how uh, to get untrapped. Because I think it's super, super important. The first thing that we teach, and it's also the first thing that I found out when I went through this journey, is that I know nothing about life. I know everything about suffering. I know everything about staying in suffering. But I don't know anything about real life. To be me and to be vibrant, and a lot of times you, you don't know it because you've never even experienced it. I don't even remember at the age of three if I experienced it. So it makes you live in like a different universe, in an alternate reality, where the same word, the same sentence, for a person resonates differently than it resonates with you. The same thing. It's like speaking even different languages. And when I got to, to this conclusion, I start learning about how to live. And it, it's going to be like a child for steps because you've never actually really walked. You actually never even looked at you the way you should have. It's like you see everything with brand new eyes. And I did have mentors and coaches doing that because otherwise I would probably never acknowledge it. I would have probably never seen life from a different perspective. 
And this is why today we guide people out of a situation because even if I do give you a formula or an automatic course, you, you miss a lot of it unless we're there to say, stop, you really didn't get this. It's another layer and it's another layer and then it's another layer. Is it comfortable to relearn how to live when you think you know it all? No, no, it's not comfortable. But it needs to be done because otherwise you're going to waste your life in suffering and you're going to wake up at the age of what? 60, 70, 80, that you never lived one day in your life? What is that going to do? I started living at the age of 38. I start smiling at the age of 38. I start being happy at the age of 38. And it was because of the efforts that I wanted to learn things about life. Because my mom never had that chance. And my son wouldn't have had that chance unless I would have showed it to him. Getting out of comfort zone especially when your mind tells you that it's not possible, it's not possible for you. For others, maybe it's possible, but not for you. Oh, it's okay. You're used to suffering anyway, so why don't you suffer some more? Getting out of his comfort zone and relearning how to live from scratch with guidance takes a lot of courage. Probably it's the most courageous thing I've ever done. But it was all worth it. Because living in that life of suffering, there's nothing else there for me. Nothing. But empty island, a ghost, with no substance, pretending to smile, just because I had to go to a job and customer service and my customers cannot see you depressed. That was it. There's nothing for me there. So when you realize that there is nothing in that suffering bubble, that suffering world, nothing there for you, a little bit of courage can get you on the other side. And yes, I understand it's an unknown. Never know where you're going to get. It can't be any worse. Actually, it might even be enough. So, get untrapped and stop living. And if you don't know how, it can reach us at that that depression. For any other question you may have, make sure go to mychallenges.org to get your free answer.